have no embarrassment at all about confessing that. Um, and I wanted to be an actor from the time I was 14 years old, nothing else ever, but I had no clue how one goes about being an actor. So I did consider, well, maybe I can be a newsreader on the radio. There wasn't even any television then. Maybe I can be a journalist. And there was nowhere that one could go. There was no one one could seek advice from on how does one go about. Of course, the thought of being a painter or being an, a sculptor or, or a cartoonist or something is even more far out than that. I remember, in fact, I wrote letters to the Hindustan to the Times of India and the Statesman, which were the two leading papers in those days, saying I'm a student who wants to be a journalist and where can I study uh, to be a journalist? And of course, I got no reply from any of those papers. They probably didn't. Um, I don't know if they even received those letters. Though, when I did write a couple of angry letters about the public school system, those did get published. <laughs> So I think they decided to ignore my pleas about wanting to become a journalist. They probably had enough such requests. The, um, this will connect to, to, to uh, the fact of my happiness at being here, present here today among so many aspiring uh, journalists and media people. That when I was a student at the National School of Drama in Delhi, uh, I had to, I had to uh, travel home to meet my parents um, and my son is saying the very same thing to me now, it doesn't feel so good. But the fact is, I did have to. And they lived in Dehradun, so I had to do the journey by train, the, the glorious Dehradun Express, which takes almost a day to get from Delhi to Dehradun. And of course, on any train journey in India, 